This is the 750 watt Engui EP2 Pro, a beast of a folding fat tire e-bike. The most powerful bike I've tried so far. So is it any good and does that power make a difference? In this video, we'll find out. Welcome back to the VRC and to a tech video featuring the Engui EP2 Pro. As always with the tech videos, there will be a VR giveaway. I'll tell you about that later in the video. But the winners of the last giveaway and a copy of the brilliant Hyperdash are the Golden Snail and Pixel Eyes. Reply to the pinned comment and we'll sort out your codes. Don't forget, if you do love VR and cool technology, then hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you don't miss a video. So first, let's get a brief look at how it came and how easy it was to assemble. Once it was unboxed, I managed to get it charged up that very night, under six hours, and take it for a spin. Turn it on. Uh, there's a button under there which I actually couldn't find for ages. It comes on. Look at that. It looks nice, that, doesn't it? Oh, whoa! 35 miles an hour. Let's see if it can do it with me on it. Speed one, so... No throttle in this one. So it's getting me up the hill at four. It's two. Oh, speeds up a lot. So this is all pedal assist. This one has a throttle, so speed one... Oh, speed one does have a throttle, but it's barely noticeable. Now, I, I do like that throttle and pedal assist works at the same time. That's nice. Eight miles an hour then, up the hill. Whoa! Nine miles an hour up the hill. Eleven. This is pulling. Right, this is good up the hill. Woohoo! Whoa, that felt good. Moving up to three. I like this little dial. It's nice and easy to move and then having the uh, speed in the middle. I like that setup. And I really like the way the numbers look. It looks premium. So this isn't the max speed. It's 18 miles per hour. This feels good, this does. Stop pedaling. They're indicating left. Oh, it feels fast. You know, I don't even know the gears are doing anything. Let me, let me, uh, I feel like the gears are making no difference. Like nothing's happening. They make no difference at all. <laughs> it's just like that for fun. Bumps. Bumps. All right, each same up. I'm going 22. And I can't help with my pedals. Whoa, loads of bumps, loads of bumps, whoa! Doesn't want to go much over 22 though. I mean, if this is, apart from my unicycle, which is 1,500 gigawatts, oh, 24. This is the most powerful thing I've got, 25. Okay, that, that's pretty, that's pretty good. For the full first impressions ride, check out the link in the description. It's on my other channel, the EVRC, so make sure you subscribe to that one to see more of this kind of stuff. Also, let me know in the comments if you actually use the gears on your e-bike. So right behind me is the Engui EP2 Pro, so let's take a closer look at it. The bike's got Shimano SIS gear levers that I actually really like now they're working. These are paired with seven-speed Shimano Tawny gears. It has a nice half-grip twist throttle, a bell, but no buzzer to calmly let people know you're there. Up and down buttons to cycle through power modes, lockable suspension. I'm pretty sure I've locked out the suspension. Yeah, see that. Open. Oh. Let's see what this Oh yeah, I can tell the difference already. Now, now it's bouncy. Go on, I need it here. 
And here's the folding mechanism with the safety clip. It's got Panaracer four inch thick, 20 inch tires, which are fat and nimble apparently. Solid metal mud guards, front and rear. Rear luggage rack that I've currently got a seat on. Quick release saddle. And quick release handlebars. Nice computer where you can adjust the power level, you can turn the lights on and off, or you can go through the modes. Inbuilt front light that you can even see in daylight, and a rear light that's also a brake light. Photo pedals, you pull that. Nice chunky metal ones as well. It's got a cap to stop the rain getting into the battery. However, it, it really doesn't like going in. I've got it in a few times, but I can never get it to stay. Oh, hang on, here we go. Hey, I did it. Brake levers feel pretty solid. Mechanical disc brakes, front and rear. The bike is currently under £800, which as you're about to see is amazing value for what Engway are offering. This bike, as mentioned, comes with mud guards and a rear carrier as standard. Combined, that stuff usually costs around 100 on its own. At 750 watts, it's more powerful than bikes of a similar price. Its 48 volt, 12.8 amp hour battery is also more than many other competitors are offering. Stick around and you'll see how 750 watts and 48 volts compares in the real world to 500 watts and 36 volts. The lights are excellent and I love that it comes with an integrated rear light which is also a brake light. I managed to rope my work buddy Tash into riding the bike in the dark and as you can see the lights do an amazing job. You'll get 50 plus miles out of it if you weigh a lot less than me and you stick to the lowest assist levels. With its aluminium alloy frame it weighs in at around 33 kilograms which is pretty heavy for a bike. It does have metal mud guards slash fenders though and all that rubber in those fat tyres has to weigh quite a bit. It's capable of carrying nearly 150 kilograms which is loads and Engway reckon the bike will be comfortable for anyone from 5 foot 2 all the way to 6 foot 5. Don't forget this is a folding e-bike which helps keep it out of the way in an apartment and allows you to get it into a car. You might need to fold the rear seats down though and it helps if your boot doesn't have a lip. Unfortunately, my Nissan Leaf does. I do have to stress that I don't see this bike getting folded up and being taken onto a train though. One nice feature is that the battery is removable so you don't have to lug the bike around everywhere in order to get it charged up. But do be careful when removing the battery as it could slide out and hit the ground which is what happened to mine. I do hope it's not going to explode. This bike is water resistant, rated at IPX4 by the way, that's resistant to rain and splashes. So being a folding e-bike with 20 inch wheels it seems like it would be suited to a town or city commute with the bulky frame giving it that extra presence on the road but how would it do traveling a bit further out and maybe not on the best roads like English country lanes for example after helping me get some action shots of the bike and loving it you don't have to pedal at all in fact stop pedaling try the front how do you do it it's twisted did you bring it back like like that yeah, that's it, that's it. Tash jumped at the chance, or maybe she took some convincing, to take the bike further out. The destination, the Oakley Arms, a pub in the village of Brood that I've never visited, but I hear is fairly bike friendly. Uh, it's just a straight line. I'll tell you where to go. Bye. Bye. Totally leaving me. <laughs> I'm actually helping the bike as well, getting 20 miles an hour. He's so much faster than me. <laughs> you what? I was doing nearly 30. Were you doing 30 then? 
It quickly became apparent that my extra weight and the extra 250 watts of the EP2 Pro's rear hub motor were going to make things pretty difficult for me if I planned on keeping yeah. up. The Engui really is a beast. I have to pedal loads to get to catch you. <laughs> and you're not doing anything. <laughs> and here we are back at Brood. Right, into the village. Yeah. I think we'll have to have a race where I'm allowed to pedal and you're not. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Wow! <gasps> they have a dog park. Yeah. What do you think of the bike then? I don't know what you're saying. Just, just tell me what you think of the bike. <laughs> you having fun on it? Yeah, because you just go, don't you? Just go? Yeah. Just twist the throttle and go? Yeah. Because when you were just pedalling, when you were getting up to the level three and four, mm. And how did that feel? Was it was it better the higher it was or what? Um, yeah. But then, obviously, when you're pedalling, because <laughs> I nearly fell off a few times. Did you? Yeah, the first times. Yeah. Did you tell me that? Did I know that? I don't know. There's a, there's one time on the video where you're kind of looking like that, and then you see I see it go like yeah. that, and you go like that. <laughs> that wasn't when I was riding now that I nearly fell off. But I, like when you're pedalling, mm. it's like you forget that it's just going to kick in. Okay. Yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah. That it kind of shocks you a bit, yeah. doesn't it? Did I tell you that throttles are illegal? Yeah. I did tell you that. So if police like drive past, you've got to start pedaling. Pedaling. Got just nice size. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you don't know, do you? Because you don't even have to push. Like I do to keep up with you and mine. I actually had to put in a high gear and start really fast. I didn't even see where you were when I was doing 26. Yeah, you were gone. <laughs> you were probably about 100 meters away. I don't. Hopefully there's footage and it's not just diamond at the floor. Yeah. But what do you think looks better, that bike or that bike? That bike. Which one's that bike? That one? Yours, yeah. That one, it does look better, doesn't it? That's more like a bmx type of thing though, isn't it? Do you think it's the mud guards? <laughs> yeah. Because it's got mud guards on it, it makes it look like a farmer's bike or something. <laughs> <laughs> Your bike um, probably goes about five miles an hour faster. Which is quite a big difference, really. But then with you on it, it weighs gone. six stone less than me. Yeah. <laughs> It's even more faster. <laughs> and I had a backpack with all the stuff in, which mm. was a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Oh. Is that the excuses? Well, I'm going to race you on the way back. Except I'm allowed to pedal and you're not. So I'm, I was going to just use the throttle? Yeah, you just, just do that. That's easier. Yeah, you do that. and I'm, No, but no, but I'm going to use the throttle and I can pedal. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I can help. Oh. So I'm going to do that. Would you get one then? I would, yeah. How about going to work on it? Like one born is about 10 miles away, is it? From where we yeah, live. but it'd be quite nice in the mornings though. You wouldn't want to do it in the rain though, would you? No. Right, let's pretend we're going. Right, let's go. I'll race <laughs> you home. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And as the cokes were finished, it was time to head back. The Engui still had all the bars of battery. Mine had been dropping under acceleration, so I was a little worried about getting home, especially if I wanted to keep up. And if anyone is watching this from the Wolverhampton Staffordshire area, then do check out the Oakley Arms, especially if the weather's nice, the beer garden is amazing, and they're dog friendly too. I knew what I was doing. While we're busy montaging, I'll tell you about the VR giveaway. If you want to win the fantastic Dash Dash Racing, which is basically Mario Kart in VR, then all you need to do is leave a comment letting me know what type of e-bike style you prefer. Foldable like the Engway, e-mountain bike with the 26 inch wheels or cafe race style like a Super 73 or something else. Of course, anyone can let us know. So if you want to be entered into the VR giveaway, then also include some emojis too. I'll choose two winners at random before the next tech video. And if you're watching on Dave, then check out my latest tech video for the latest giveaway, unless I've since stopped doing them. A 
After more speed related embarrassment, we got back to our starting point, and after about 14 miles, the Engui still had three bars out of five. Obviously, the way batteries work, the bike won't give top performance all the way down to 0%, but the Engui was still pulling well all the way home, whereas mine was not. I'd be happy to travel 20, maybe 25 miles on the Engui using mostly throttle in level five, and I'm confident that sticking to level three with some pedaling, you would go a lot further. If you want to see the full bike ride, it will be coming soon on my other channel, dedicated to electric vehicles, the EVRC. Check out the link to that in the description. There is really a lot to like about the Engui EP2 Pro. From the price, the speed controller setup, i.e. the throttle is available through all the assist levels the computer is really nice and the integrated lights are awesome the rear rack is solid as you can see I added a seat to it which I've been using to take my son to local parks and he absolutely loves it apart from the gears not working riding the Engui has been a really nice experience the gears were an easy fix the simplicity of all the components makes this bike pretty easy to work on yourself a few negatives are that the charge port cap can be a nightmare to get back in once you've unplugged it the bike is pretty heavy if you plan on picking it up and the mechanical disc brakes and the Shimano tawny gears are pretty cheap and cheerful however none of that detracts from the awesomeness of this really nice electric bike if you're interested there will be links in the description and to see much more of the EP2 Pro as well as other e-bikes do check out my other channel the EVRC and that brings us to the end of this video if you enjoyed that or found it helpful do smash that thumbs up button and thank you so much for watching it to the end if you are still here thanks to Tash for helping me get some cool shots of the bike and also to compare the two bikes on the bike ride full comparison and a drag race will be on that other channel soon. Let me know in the comments below if you like the look of this e-bike or if you're just doing your research and are thinking of joining the exciting world of personal electric vehicles. Maybe you prefer an e-unicycle or an e-scooter. Let us know. Thanks again for watching. Take care of yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next time or feel free to stick around and check out some of our other e-scooter or e-bike reviews. That was a VRC Tech video. See ya.